Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I am so excited for this video. We are finally able to announce that the restock for my collab with Shroud Cosmetics is coming back. My palette, the It's Freaking Bats palette, will be back in stock on Sunday, July 25th. It will be live at 9 a.m. PST or 12 p.m. EST. My palette is $35 USD and you can use my affiliate code ButteBean for 10% off. It'll save you an additional 10% and I appreciate it so much if you use my code. The pin set and pin bundle with the palette will also be available and my affiliate code is applicable to that as well or anything else on the site, you can use my code for 10% off. Just in case you're new and you haven't seen it before, this is my baby. I love this. I'm so obsessed with it. I use it all the time. I just adore my palette with my whole heart, the color story, the formula, the theming, the names, everything. It just makes my heart and soul so happy and I'm so unbelievably excited that it is restocking again. I know that it has been a long time since it first launched and the restock took a lot longer than we expected, but the whole pre-order situation just got way bigger than we ever expected. We didn't even expect to do a pre-order situation. It just sort of ended up being something we had to just do to try to appease as many of you as possible and let you get on the list to get a palette at some point. And it just, it got way bigger than we expected. Trust me, we've learned our lesson. We will never do a pre-order again. It was way more than Chloe as one single person could handle, but she got through it. She got done with it. I'm so happy that you have your palettes. I've been obsessed with seeing your looks. You are all so talented, so lovely. I am blown away by the amount of talent I've seen from you. Chloe has been working so hard nonstop ever since finishing up the pre-orders, getting stock ready for this restock. She's been working on getting so many more prepared than she initially planned to with the initial launch. So hopefully there will be a good amount to stick around. Hopefully they won't sell out immediately, but if and when they do sell out, she will continue restocking it as long as there is a demand. So if it happens to sell out really quick again, uh, just ahead of time. I'm so sorry if it does, but it will be coming back. She's working really hard. The palettes are already being prepped and ready to go. They're ready for shipment. She's been working on getting her whole site restocked. The only thing that isn't going to be back is the actual Creepy Cute palette, just because she did not have time to work on that while working on this. But the singles for Creepy Cute are going to be available. Creepy Cute will be returning at some point. I think she's aiming for the fall, but she just was not able to get it taken care of this time. But again, the singles will be available. Chloe wanted me to make it known that you should not have to wait more than a week and a half to two weeks max for your order to actually ship because she's just been working so hard. Her and her husband getting all of the palettes ready to go. She's been pressing like crazy and just trying to get everything taken care of before this happens so that everything is on the money. Trying to be a lot more smooth with this launch because we want to make up for the craziness of the first launch. I feel like I am just so full of emotion and I feel like my brain is running at a million miles an hour. So if I forget to mention anything, I will have all of the details down in the description box as detailed as possible. We are really hoping this will be a very smooth launch. She has been working so hard. We've been communicating nonstop about what we're going to try to aim for and expect. As soon as she's done shipping out the orders from this restock, she's immediately gonna start working on the next one. So. Hopefully everything will be smooth sailing going forward. I appreciate your support on my palette so much. It means the world to me how much you've been loving it and playing with it. Again, I'm obsessed with your looks. You guys are so talented. Please continue sending me your recreations or your own unique looks. I love seeing them. It makes my whole day. I can't believe the restock is happening again. I'm so thrilled and I'm just so full of love. Chloe, a huge thank you to you again for asking me to collab in the first place. I still can't believe I was even invited to do this. This. this is just like my pride and joy. It feels like a dream that this even happened and I swear I'm about to start crying. I can't believe it's about to restock again and everything is just going to go so much more smooth. I'm so hopeful and so excited and I just can't wait for those of you who wanted to get your hands on it and I can't wait to see your looks. I'm so excited. I've been posting so many looks ever since I launched it. I'm pretty sure I've posted probably close to 20 looks total across Instagram and YouTube. And I do plan on continuing to do more looks. Don't even worry. And especially now that the site is going to be back up and running like normal and restocks will be more frequent. I will be posting more on here as well. I just wanted to wait until you guys actually had your palettes and I knew when the restock was going to be happening before I posted on here again, but I've been posting a ton on Instagram as well. I probably will post 
at least one to two tutorials a month across both platforms. So just stay tuned. I have lots of inspiration coming to you. I play with this literally all the time. I played with it more times than I could count. And I always have fun playing with it and thinking up something new. So just stay tuned. Lots more inspiration coming your way. I might even do a palette bingo with this by itself, maybe with all of my shroud palettes. Uh, we shall see. So yeah, let's just hop into the tutorial I created today. I love this look. Super, super pretty and fairly quick and simple, um, even though it's super dramatic. I did want to just give you my details really quick though. My choker today is from Shop Sun & Co. You can use my affiliate code ButteBean for 10% off. My plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. This ring is from Etta Love. And this is a Christmas brand wig. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. So yeah, without further ado, let's just move forward now and play with the palette, create this look. Oh, I get so excited every time I play with this palette. I've played with this more times than I could possibly count, and I just, I love it every single time. Obviously, it's my palette. I am obsessed with it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and prime with the Smashbox uh, Lid Primer in light. I'm gonna blend it out and I'm not gonna set it because I don't prefer to do that. I hope you are having a great day. I'm in such a good mood because I'm so excited to be filming this video. I'm so excited about announcing the restock. Oh, it's such a good day. All right, so I wanna start with Adams and just start laying that down in my crease because I want a very blown out teal outer corner um, with some depth and then like half cut crease thing. That's what I wanna do today. I'm gonna take this Alter Ego number 10 brush. It's just kind of an angled brush. I'm gonna use that just to place right at the corner of my eye and just kind of create a little bit of a V following my natural shape just a tad bit, kind of like that. And I'm also going to smudge this against the lower lash line, mostly the outer half. I don't want it to go all the way towards the inside. And then I'm just gonna kind of connect that upwards so that it all goes together and wing that out just a teeny bit. I do wanna leave some space to blend this out. And I'm going to just kind of work that through the crease just a hair, not up too high or anything like that. Oh, love this shade, it's so pretty. I need to get this wig out of my way, so just ignore my funky looking ear now. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take this blending brush from Juno & Co. It's just kind of like a medium-sized fluffy brush, no product on it, and I'm just gonna start blending at the edge to get it nice and diffused and soft. I'm gonna wipe it off periodically so that it stays fairly clean so that I can keep everything within my control. I'm just doing light little motions to start diffusing the edge here. And I do wanna keep this kind of structure and shape to it. I don't want it to be completely blended out to where it's like just a blob. I do want it to still have this outer corner and I don't know. Just kind of still have the structure, but more diffused. And now I want to take the shade Dairy. Such a delicious dark shade. I'm going to take that on this pencil brush. It's an Alter Ego number 11. And I want to focus this in the outer pocket of my like outer corner. Just right there. I don't want this to take over everything because I do want my crease to be predominantly teal. I just want to add this to the outer corner in that outer portion of the lower lash line to add some depth and smokiness. And now I'm just gonna take Adams again on that first angled brush from Alter Ego. Very, very lightly, I'm holding the edge of my brush so that I have light pressure. I'm just gonna very lightly start diffusing at that edge right where Dairy and Adams meets. I think I might watch The Adams Family today, actually. One of my favorite movies, the 1990-something <laughs> one. And the Adams Family Returns, they're both phenomenal. And again, I'm gonna take that fluffy Juno & Co brush, rub it on my little towel here, and then just start going to town again on these edges so that everything stays nice and soft. Oh, I'm already so obsessed with this. Now that I have all my crease work established and I'm obsessed with it, I'm gonna do my lid. And I really just wanna put a lot of focus on Apparition because I haven't really played with this one as much lately. I feel like I've been leaning more towards Handbook and Trappa and Grimm, kind of like the chartreuses and teals. And I really wanna play with Apparition, that very pretty, shifty, gold, purple. It's just gorgeous. And I just want that slathered all over the lid and then feathered into what I have going on in the outer corner. I have a flat brush here from Juno & Co. And of course my NYX Glitter Primer, which I use with every shimmer just helps everything pop so beautifully and it helps me stay really precise when I'm doing 
cut creasey things. So I'm just kind of going right above my natural crease and following the roundness of my eyeball. This is just what works best for me. With anything cut creasy, you kind of have to figure out what works best for your eye shape, but this is what I like to do. And I just kind of stop it right where things are really deepening up in the outer corner. All right, dipping right into apparition with that same sticky brush. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so pretty, and this wig was the perfect choice to go with this lid. I'm so obsessed with this color. I'm just kind of packing it across the lid, following that kind of cut shape that I was doing against my crease. And then as I get to the outer part of my lid, I'm just kind of lightly tapping so that I can go back and kind of blend them together so it's nice and soft. So I'm gonna take my teeny little pencil brush that I used with Dairy before, no additional product, and I'm just very, very, very lightly sweeping between that merge of the shimmer and matte so that it can flow. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the brush that I used with Adams, that angled brush. And again, no additional product, and I'm just using very, very light motions. I'm also gonna take Apparition again on this little pencil brush, and I want to pop that down here as well just to add another pop of this beautiful purple. I'm curious what your favorite shade in my palette is, whether you own it or you've only just looked at it. I would love to know what your favorite is. Mine hands down is Trappa. Oh, it's just delicious. Like that is the shade that like came to mind first. I mean, this whole color story kind of came to mind right away. That shade, I live for like a dirty chartreuse yellowy color. It's just so good. Um, in our corner time, let's go with Sam. Sam just makes such a solid inner corner. I didn't even put it in this palette for the intention of being an inner corner highlight. I just thought it was pretty and it would go with the vibe. And it also just makes a really good inner corner highlight, so that's a plus. Well, this is the look. I'm going to recreate this on the other eye, throw on my eye pencils, because I want to do like two together, um, lashes and something on my lips, and I will be back to finish this up. All right, this is my look complete. I feel so pretty. I just, I love this combination of colors. I love the apparition is all over my lid. I haven't done this in a minute and it's just gorgeous. <laughs> the eye pencils I threw in, I did a combination of Charmer and Catsuit from ColourPop. I did Charmer on the outer part and Catsuit on the inner part. I just kind of drew them on halfway and then like used one of them to mush it together. Uh, yeah, I couldn't decide, so I did both. Uh, my lashes are Aries from Lunar Beauty, and on my lips, I went with Fearless Lip Souffle from Rare Beauty. Uh, oh, also, I threw some hearts on my eyes because I just felt like it. So this is the heart stamp from ColourPop. Anyways, let's just zoom out and finish up this video. All right, hello. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial with this palette. I hope you like this look. I love it. It's so pretty and just... I feel like equally soft and delicate, but also strong and dramatic. Don't know how to explain it. Just to reiterate, my palette is launching on Shroud site at 9 a.m. PST, 12 p.m. EST on Sunday, July 25th. Again, my palette is gonna be $35. The pin set and bundle will be back as well. And you can use my affiliate code ButteBean for 10% off on my palette, the collection, the whole site whatever you wanna use, and I appreciate it so much if you use it. We're hoping this stock will last a little bit of time. We're hoping it won't sell out instantly. She has gotten so many prepared, but if and when it does sell out, it will be coming back. As long as there's a demand, Chloe plans on continuing to create it and bring it back. So stay tuned, more restocks are coming. No more unlimited pre-order, I pinky promise. We're past that. Thank you again for your patience. I'm so happy that you have my palette. Um, and I can't wait for those of you who wanted to get it. My heart is just so full. I'm so excited and grateful. I appreciate you all so incredibly much. Oh my gosh, I just feel like I'm on clouds right now. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you so much. More looks are coming, I promise you. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave me a bat emoji for the It's Frickin' Bats palette. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And again, I've been posting a lot of tutorials with my palette over there. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.